Hey everyone, it's your Crafter Chris Share back for another video. Um, I know it's been a while. I apologize. Uh, I don't really have anything to say other than the last two weeks have been pretty, um, I've been pretty tired. <laughs> uh, when I go up with my mom, I stay up all, every night, all night because so my mom can get some sleep, which I'm, that's fine. I can get a lot done. Which, I can't get very much done here because I have interruptions. And when I when everybody goes to bed up there, I get a ton of stuff done. And I like it that way. Um, oh, what else do I want to say? I do want to say a huge thank you to my 805 subscribers. I finally got over 795 subscribers. I am so happy that I finally got over that 800 mark. So thank you, everybody, for getting me over that mark. And maybe I will reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of my end of the year. That is my main goal, is to reach 1,000 subscribers. So at the end of the year, I can do a live. So I just did a um, stitch marker update. I just posted it. It just went public. So, um, just made a ton of stitch markers. I am not going to. I am not going to go through them on here. This is going to be a regular video, and I have to look because I'm not even sure of what number this is. Okay, so this is episode one forty three. God, these things are everywhere. I am getting bombarded with ladybugs. If you see me looking off somewhere, like anywhere, it's because there's a ladybug in here and he's driving me crazy. And yeah, it's they've been terrible today. It was 50 degrees today. They are out. They are coming back with a vengeance. And I do not like ladybugs. Ladybugs give me the creeps. I hate when they fly at me. And I hate when they are on me. It creeps me out. And there's a lot in here. There's a lot on my light. And I've been trying to kill them. But those things never die. It's like those horror movies that you watch. That you know. Like the Freddy Krueger ones. And the Jason ones. Every single episode they die. At the end. But then like the next episode they come right back to life. So anyway. That was a tangent. <laughs> you were here for the crochet. Not about that kind of stuff. So like I said. Um, I do want to say thank you to my 805 subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much, even though I don't tell you guys every single time. Um, thank you so much for finally getting over 800. And 800. Um, I have a lot to show you today. I have knitting. I have lots of knitting to show you. I have lots of finished whips. I have lots of whips. Finished whips? That's not a thing. Okay, I have lots of finished objects and a lot of whips because I went on a starting kick the other night, which you were going to see. But first, we are going to do finished objects, and we are going to start out with my two biggest ones because they're literally on top of the pile. So my first one is the biggest one I've done recently. And I was making um, granny squares. I posted um, some of them on... Um, Facebook, and I finished my blanket. Now, this thing is huge. It is three squares by four squares. The next one I'm I'm making, I'm doing two squares by three squares because this thing is ginormous. And yes, all the ends are woven in. I just do not have them cut. So, so this is my big blanket. I'll show you the two panels. So there's, this is all scrap yarn. I told you this thing was a beast. I can't see you now. Now we'll flip you around so you can see. You're like, I can't see you. I can't see you at all. So hopefully you can see this. It is ginormous. Um, that will be on one blanket going to the homeless shelter. The next blanket I have is a V-stitch blanket. I haven't done one of them in a while. 
I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured I would do one because I like these. I like the stitch. So I so I just um, did a regular V stitch using up um, balls of yarn that I had laying around. And this is it. Got some funky yarn in there. Oh, I like how that one pulled. That's pretty cool. I'm talking about the black and white one. But yeah, okay. So those two blankets are going to be going to the homeless shelter when it is time for me to donate. So my next finished objects are, I have literally had these done for over three weeks now, but I finally found my bag. And they are the ear warmers for um, the church. And I just did half double crochet on all of them. And then I did this really cool trick in the center to put them together. So I just used up yarn until I didn't have any more. So I did this one. And then I did another one in purple. I did this cute little one in green. In green and green tones. Um, I did several of them. And this is... I'll put one on so you can... They're a little bit big because I made them kind of big. So they look like that. To keep your ears warm. Like I said, this is for the church. So I made that one. I made a several in that kind. In that colorway. I think it was like confetti or something like that. Here's another one. Confetti. And then I made one in coral. Actually, I made two in coral. And there is, I think, 20 in here. Then I had um, a cake of this yarn from, I think it's cactus flower or something like that. It was, and it was just a random small ball. It must not have been very small because I got four of them out of there. So I got four of them. Up here's another purple one. Like I said, I did all different sizes. Here's, I got a three green. And then I did this really chunky one, which was a cupcake. I did that one. And then I did this one with the cupcake. I did one gray. Oh, and here's another green one. Was that 20? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, sure. <laughs> Didn't look like 21. I pulled them out of the bag. So they will be going in the bag for the church. Now the church is all done. Now I am moving on to other things, which... We will get into that. So, um, I finished the church, like I said, three weeks ago. So I decided to start working on other things. Freaking things are going to drive me nuts. So I decided to work on other things for a little bit. And he is like right there looking at me. Don't fly down here or you will die. I am like not even kidding you. But, um... So, like I said, I was started working on other things, and I started some new loom, or loom, not looming, I'm knitting. I started some knit hats, and but I have more finished objects, it's just they're on the bottom of the bin, and all of my whips are on top, so I'm going to go into whips, and then I'm going to go back to finished objects. Um, but like I said, I started some knitted hats, I started, I think the final count was six, um, scrap cans, scrap lap cans for the homeless shelter. So we'll try, we'll get the knitting out of the way first because it's also one top. So I have this hat here and I am not liking this hat, I don't think. First off, because I started purling and I wanted to knit 
but I do not like how th small these needles are with this yarn. So I am going to frog this and I think cast on something new, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. I think, I think I just want to continue on with it. Maybe. I gotta find needle protectors small enough to go on these little needles because they're really tiny. I got them from um, Amazon or Wish or something like that. They're the ones from China that don't have the, that doesn't have the uh, size one. Yeah, I know my case is right here. And I do have a measuring thing in my case. So maybe we'll measure them and see exactly what they are. Okay. How do you measure these? Okay, so it goes right in at the US three. Does that mean that's that that's what that's what it is? Or is it the one that it doesn't fit in? Because if it's the one that doesn't fit in then it's an it's a eleven, I guess. But I think it's a three. Because if you look it goes right through the three one, so I think it's a three. Pretty small. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just gonna keep that out because I have other hats. Staring at me. I'm not kidding, buddy. You do come down here, you are gonna die. Now this one, I think I am knitting, and I am doing the regular knit stitch, and it is in. I've had this one on the needles for a while, as long as that other one. That other one was the. Oh, what was that colorway? It's a red heart with love. And it's the coral gray and gray one, whatever that is. This one right here is Gumdrop. I got it at Walmart and it's the gelato colorway. And it looks like this, which is really awesome. And I've been knitting on this for a while, so I hope to, I hope to get these off the needle soon. But I have a problem. Rel from the Dabbling Hook got me hooked on, or got me, I guess, I guess you would say hooked, even though it's not crochet, but she got me knitting hats with Charisma, and that's what this one right here is, and, um, and st she did 45 stitches, I did 60. And I did 65 on this one. I did 65 on this one to make it a little bit bigger. And I should have increased by 5, but I did not. I just think I just went right into the... Yeah, I just went right into the thing. But I, I can, I'm still going to add the 5. I just will do it on this row. Or after I finish this row, I guess I should say. I don't know. Maybe I won't do it. Because I still... I still can. I literally just started this row. It's just a knit row. So I will add my five stitches to this row that I'm on. And this is the colorway Ashes. And I'm really waiting to get into that um, white again. I'm in brown right now. If you can't see. But So I got that one on the needles. I also got this one on the needles. This is the one I started with. And this is the one that has the 45 stitches. But you add 5 stitches so it's technically 50 when you get to the body. And I haven't worked on this one very much at all. So this is what that's, this one looks like. It's going to be for a little kid I think because I ain't going to get my noggin around that. No way. 
that. But yeah, there's that one. And this is the colorway Mountain Majesty. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> And I have one more knitted hat. I literally had to dig to find it. But I casted on this one also. And I think I did 65 for this one also. I'm still in the brim on this one, which I love this colorway. And this one is called Passion. It has all these fun colors in it. I can't wait till I get to the purple. But as I'm, I'm in yellow, so might be a while before I get to the purple. Those are all of my knitted hats that I have started. Now I found some more finished objects, so I'm going to show them. Um, I had bought the um, pack bundle of patterns from Bum Craft Crochet. It has eight Winnie the Pooh, eight Winnie the Pooh amigurumis in it. So far, I have made Pooh, Tigger, and Rue, which I'm just going in order. So I made Pooh first. So this is Pooh. <laughs> They're really tiny, which is what I like. So. So this is Pooh Bear, and then I made Tigger. Now I will admit Tigger is a little creepy, I think. My mom says he's cute, I think he's creepy, um, so I'll let you guys be the judge. If you are friends with me on Facebook or a part of my group, you will see this. So this is Tigger, he looks kind of creepy, I, I apologize. but. Um, he had a red nose, but I took it off because I did not think it looked right. And he looks better, I think, with that instead of a red nose. And I did Rue, last finished Rue last night. And this is Rue. So I finished all of them. And the pattern is originally $22.00. But she was having a half off sale and I jumped at that because I've been wanting this pattern for a long I've been wanting this pack for a long time. And when I seen that it was on sale, I jumped at it and got it. So and then I made an Igor or Igor. I think it's Igor. But I made him. So he's he's finished. He's really cute. So I made him also last night. And I do not remember who, who, trifles and treasures, I think, possibly. Let me look it up because I think, I think that's where I got it. Sorry about this, guys. think I think that's where I got it but do not hold me to that because I am not 100% sure yes it is Eeyore and her name is Tara Colling, K-U-L-L-I-N-G. And sh she really has a lot of really, really good patterns. Her, She has a YouTube channel, too, called Trifles and Treasures. And I really like her patterns. I have several of her patterns. Um, so, yeah. 
I would definitely make one of him. He is a paid for, paid for pattern, though. But it is really worth it, I think. Okay. Now we are into the rest of my madness. <clears throat> so like I said, I went... I started, like, I don't even have many projects. I think in one night I started six scrap stash buster blankets. This is one of them. And yes, it is in the V-stitch. And I am basically just using yarn until I run out. So this is another V-stitch blanket. And it is quite big because I want it to be big for the homeless shelter. So, like I said, I'm using up stash, a lot of stash, with these blankets. So, and I'm using a six and a half, no, six millimeter hook for this. For this particular blanket, I'm using a six. I think the rest of them I'm using a, no, the other one I am using a five, no, six. I'm getting myself confused. So there's that one. Um, I am also making a rainy square blanket, and I finally did not, I did not want to leave in, sew those together again, but this one, I'm only making six squares big, so it's going to be two down, or three, two across, three down, so I have two already put together, so it's going to be a pretty good size still, which is, which is that. And I did already join these two together, and I um had to, I ran out of yarn, so I have to tie a new yarn on one. But then this square will go on that, and I'm using I think a six, yeah, a six millimeter for this. And the rest of the blankets that I'm going to show you, which I have four, I think are using double strands and an eight millimeter hook. Um, so, and you, I am doing them lengthwise so that I won't have to do so much widthwise. So here's this one. Like I said, I'm just using up stash. It's upside down. Until I run out of one color, I tie on another color. And these are my scraps that I'm using. I have a lot of, I have a lot of stash I'm going to use up. I have a plan for um, my birthday this year. So I have a plan and I plan on accomplishing that. So, so I have told June to use up a lot of stash. And then I have this one that is just a little bitty one. But they're all lengthwise because that way I won't have to work so hard to do the widthwise. So I have that one that's with an 8mm hook. I was working on this one while I was talking to my mom and my boyfriend. So I have this one right there is where I stopped. And again, it is pretty big. <laughs> and then this one kind of has a mind of its own apparently. And then I'm making this one, which isn't as big, but it'll still be okay. I made them all different sizes so that it can accommodate different people. So I have that one working on. I have two hats <coughs> started for my next charity but as I said I'm taking a little breather so I have this one started it's in a blue it's I'm not really sure what it is I got it and then somebody gave it to me and then I have this one here that is a um, ferris wheel and the colorway is called wild violets so I have two hats going on and they are both made with a five millimeter hook, which is what I make usually make all of my hats with. 
think he really wants to come down and see me, but I think we got it. Um, I also have, um, my campfire cardigan still on the go. So, I have this piece done. It will need added more to it, but I have this side. I have one side started here, and then I have, I bought, I do have some acquisitions. I bought two skeins of this colorway so I can add to it. I was going to get two more of the Baja Blue to make another campfire card again, but sadly I cannot find that yarn anywhere. I tried all three of my Walmarts um, and Michael <coughs> Michaels does not carry it. Michaels does not carry it, and neither does my joints anymore. So, that yarn I'm just going to use and make a scarf out of it, I think. And my last three finished objects is messy bun hats. So, I have one that's purple. It has the elastic in it. Sorry has the elastic in it. So there's the purple one. Here is a blue and orange one. And here is a pink and well, a fuchsia color in gray. So those will be added to the um... And guys, we are finally done. That's a lot, wasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> That's what I get for not doing the video last week. Um, so that is it for this episode. Um, like I said in my last video, which is the stitch marker one, if you have any, um, any specific thing that you want, please let me know. The best way to get a hold of me is if you want stitch markers is through a Facebook messenger, or if you do not have Facebook, you can email me at a crafty crochet 1991 at gmail.com. I believe all of those links, um, to... My, um, I will leave the link to my email in the description box below. I will also leave the link to my, um, store, which is Liz's Stitch Markers over on Facebook. It has pictures of every stitch marker that I got, that I've made, I guess. And if you have, excuse me, if you have a specific bead color that you want, I have you there too. I have tons of beads. Tons of bees. I probably have a little bit more than I should, but I have a lot. Um, the only thing I do not have right now, which I am going to probably go to Michael's or Joe, probably Joanne's this week because I need lobster class and I need lever backs. And I probably need split rings too because I use them for my knitting stitch markers. I also am making knitting and crochet stitch marker sets. You will get three knitting and three crochet stitch markers. So if you have anything specific, let me know and I will I will get them out to you as soon as I can. I am going to my mom's tomorrow instead of my original Wednesday because my great grandma has been asking and begging my mom for me to come up early. So I'm going to do that. So, um, so if you do order stitch markers for me, I probably will not get them made until Friday, but I promise you I will get them mailed out on Saturday morning. So, um... I try to get them out as soon as you guys get them in, but, um, but half the time you guys order them, I'm at my mom's, but as soon as I get home on Friday, I get them made and I get my gram to mail them out in the morning. So, like I said, if you guys want anything specific, let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.